All right, what we have is an Arduino Nano. It's on my home-built breakout board. And the idea here is to use a Max 7219 8-digit LED display to act as a stopwatch. So you start, and it goes in hundredths of a second. Stop. Start. Stop. We'll be looking at how this is configured and lots of other little secrets to Arduino. Here's an approximate schematic of my Arduino breakout board. Um, I have uh, switches, can open normally open switches, connected to ground to digital pins 2 and 3. Note that. All right, let's look at my Arduino sketch on how I set up this simple stopwatch program. I have two switches, as I mentioned before. I labeled them SW1 and SW2. SW1 is the white switch. Two is the red switch. Both have been programmed as inputs. I also turned on the internal pull-ups by writing a high to each corresponding switch. Remember, all this is up in setup now. I delayed 200 milliseconds. I initiated the Max 7219 display that I used. That I'm not going to cover in this. And I set the initial readout on the Max 7219 display for the command BCD out 0 and 2. That means the number that it will display is 0, and it's going to have two decimal places. So when it initializes and comes up, it's just going to read 0, 0.0 .0 or so. Okay. Or it's going to read 0, 0.00, excuse me. Nonetheless, coming down here to loop, we have, it does nothing until I press SW1. Note that in this if statement, it's a knotted digital read SW1. All right, SW1 is high until I press the switch. If it's a high and it's knotted, it comes back false. When I press the switch, it will go low. A knot of a low is a high. The condition is met. And then I will initiate an integer called unsigned integer. Count to 9999. Begin a for loop. And it consists of nothing that the BCD out routine at where the integer i is. It will output whatever value i is and retain two decimal places. Delay 10 milliseconds. And it will check to see if SW2 has been pressed. If I press SW2, it immediately breaks the for loop and retains the count that you saw earlier. Something to note about these if statements, which is sort of the point of this anyway. You notice I don't have it doing anything like equal to zero, or I didn't do, uh, or so forth, or use a separate integer or whatever on the digital read. You don't need to do that. You simply Note the result without the equal to zero business because that's already understood. If you add that in there, you may waste a byte or two extra from the compiler. This works just fine. If you do a digital read with an open switch, it's going to be high. The high is knotted again, and it's going to be false only when digital read returns a low, which is then not it to the exclamation point, does the if statement become true, and I go into the count sequence. Same deal with the if statement down here. When I press the switch, uh, digital read returns a false, which is not it to give me a true, breaks the routine. That's it. That's just a little exercise in setting up uh, Arduino. 
The BCD out routine is in a separate video covering um, decimal to binary coded decimal conversion. Thanks for listening. Visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.